Hello and welcome to my video review and open box of the Aftershocks Blues 2 wireless bone conduction headphones. And everything that you see here comes inside the box. First of all, you have a pair of reflective stickers to put on the outside of the band. You have an Aftershocks breathable carrying pouch. It also comes with an adjustable tension band. A USB to micro USB cable. And last but not least, the Blues 2 headphones themselves. For those of you who do not know, bone conduction is basically the conduction of sound through the bones of the skull. Now this may sound very cutting edge, it may sound like new technology, but actually it's been around for a while. and It's been used with individuals who have hearing impairments. Now having said that, the Blues 2's is specifically for those who need to be aware of the environment around them. For example, people that exercise in public such as bicyclists or runners. And I've also found this very handy for office use as well, where you need to hear pages, phone calls, your coworkers talking to you. This really comes in handy for that as well. Now as for the design, the headphones are constructed almost entirely of one piece plastic. But they do look very nice, they look very professional looking in my opinion, they're very sleek. The glossy black adds a really nice touch to it. And the only uh, deviation from the solid black color, of course, is your right here, your chrome looking multifunction button. And you have the Aftershocks insignia in white on both sides. And of course, you can see the rubber pads, which transmits the sound to the bones. And of course, it, it says right and left on the inside. And these headphones are very light. They weigh around 40 grams. And I am somewhat disappointed that there's no adjustability on the headband itself. What you have to do is you have to use this adjustable tension band. Right there you can see. You just click in like so. There you go. And it tightens things up if you find it too loose. Now on the inside of the right side are the controls. You have your on off button. You have your micro USB port and your volume control. Now connecting this to your media device through Bluetooth is relatively simple. You just hold on to the power button for five seconds and it'll say welcome to Blues 2. And a couple of seconds later it'll say pairing. Then a blinking light will come letting you know that it's trying to connect. So here we go. There you can see the blinking red and blue light. And on my iPad Nano, I'm going to connect it. And you can see that the blinking light shut off. So that indicates that it is connected. So it's very simple to do. Now, as you can see by the illustration, Aftershocks recommends that you wear the headphones with the speakers in front of the ear with the headband tilted down at an angle. Now with my experience, I've noticed that may not be for everyone. You may have to adjust it a little bit to find that musical sweet spot. Now these are light, so you don't really have any neck fatigue, and the ear pads do a great job of staying on. I've ran for several miles, sweating a lot, and I never had any instance where these slipped off or fell. Now for people with wider heads, they may have some trouble with the fitment, and it does take a little bit to get used to, but other than that, as far as fitment's concerned, I really haven't had any issues. Uh, the, big, the biggest problem that I've had is reaching the volume control, well, the control buttons on the other underside of the headphones. To me, they would have been better placed on the outside where they would have been easier to get to. Now, as far as sound goes, when I first put these on and listened to them, I honestly thought that these were some of the worst headphones that I had ever listened to in my life. But being patient as I was, I gave plenty of time for the drivers to break in, listen to them a lot for me to get used to the sound, and I'd have to say that sound quality did improve over time. And I use these for all sorts of things, running, exercising, listening at home, streaming, and the sound to me was better, but it still was no better than an average pair of headphones. There's nothing exceptional about the highs and mids. They are clear, and they do sound good sometimes depending on the quality of what you're listening to, but there's really nothing exceptional. The lows, you get your tud, your little tud, 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 tud on your lows, but the lows totally lack volume and extension. Also, 
once you reach a certain volume point on the headphones, they just don't get any louder. Uh, the ear pads start vibrating like crazy, and it's a really weird experience when that happens. Now, I know these are made for the active individual who needs to be aware of their surroundings outside, and I am one of those individuals. I do a lot of running. Now, I did run a lot in the wind, around a lot of other people, and, and there's a couple of things that worked against these. First of all, there's a lot of sound leakage. It leaks sound like crazy. Number two, on windy days, it was hard to hear anything. Really, the vocals and percussion would stand out, but everything else suffered. So I was kind of disappointed with that myself. Where I actually enjoyed these the most was at the office, where at low volumes, they sounded decent, and I was able to hear everything that was going on around that I needed to hear to. And also for streaming on my Amazon tablet, and for my phone in the privacy of my own home where there wasn't too much noise going on, they sounded pretty good doing that. And to me, that was the best experience I had with these. I was very disappointed. I was really curious about the bone conduction. And to me, it just didn't live up to the hype. If you're asking me, are these worth $100? I'd have to say no. I bought these on sale for $79, and I still feel that it wasn't worth $79. But... You may want to give them a try and see for yourself, especially if you're curious about bone conductivity. I'm just sharing my experience with you to help you come up with your own decision. So thank you very much for watching my video and have a great day.